by yourself back on the channel, this time with Bengal, who's done it before. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I just can't take it serious. I don't know why. Bengals channel will be in the description down below. He does Madden. You can go check him out. Madden's coming out now. You like Madden? This is your guy. But we asked you on Twitter for your hot takes about Major League Baseball. We're going to tell you if we buy, agree, or sell, disagree. If you guys want to see more of buy or sell on the channel, make sure you drop a like on it as well as subscribe so you don't miss out on the content. Follow me on my social media, Giraffe Neck Mark. Links in description. Let's start off with a real, real hot one here. This one comes from friend of the channel. We know him well. Nate at NotNate99. Says, Ronald Acuna will not win the MVP and L LA Dodger will. That's going to be a quick and easy sell for me. I think as long as Ronald Acuna stays healthy this year, he is the clear and obvious favorite to win the National League MVP. Corbin Carroll had a good fight at one point. Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts have a great season. They're just not Ronald Acuna. He's going to steal 80. Yeah, I, I think it's kind of what it comes down to is he just built too much of a lead. Five tool guy. I know the fielding hasn't been so great, but I'm just going to call him five tool anyway. I think voters are just going to prefer that over first baseman. I think Freddie Freeman's got the next best chance. But other than most recently last year, we don't see an NL first baseman win the MVP. This one comes from Mike Drow, another friend of the channel. Yankees can still make a deep run. Playoff samples are almost all flukes. Just need two bats and two arms to step up. I mean, you're asking for a lot there, especially because the Yankees don't really have like two good bats. It's Aaron Judge and Gleyber Torres. So you're asking for two more to step up. If, well, if Stanton is playing well, he he's, could. He's one of the best in the league. But I mean, like, he's homered three games in a row this week. True. We were there. But like, man, I can't, I can't find who those players are truthfully going to be. That makes a lot of sense. And their pitching needs some help for sure. I, I like Nestor Cortez coming back. He's a beast. I think the bullpen's been the strength of the team the entire year. You hope Carlos Rodon figures it out at some point. Kind of out on Seve at this point. It sucks, but he's just not the same guy. I am going to sell, though. Huge Yankee fan. I'd love for it to happen, but you're saying if the Yankees do something they've not done. Yeah. If, if the queen had balls, she'd be king. My favorite. And if the queen was alive, she'd be queen. <laughs> okay, well, the Canadian editor, he's, he's, that's his queen right there. Cedric F. Brown. Ali Marmol and John Moselak will be fired at the end of the season. I think that's a buy. I think you have to get rid of Marmol at the absolute minimum. Moselak hasn't done that great of a job. He brought in some big names, brought in some big players, but obviously the success in winning hasn't really gotten to where they ultimately want it to be. So yeah, Ali Marmol, bad vibes, bad manager. Moselak, I think he probably gets kicked to the can too. I think you could sell me on the manager. I think GMs just though have a little bit more leeway and we've seen that with a number of different teams and especially this happens in football quite a bit. They're going to trade down and accumulate yeah. more picks. They're going to trade their players. The GM doesn't want to sell to give pieces to the next GM, yeah. right? So the fact that they were sellers and the fact that they held on to Arenado and Goldschmidt, I think they're going to try and compete in 2024. And if it doesn't happen then, sure, absolutely. But I, I think general managers tend to get a little bit more pull. Chris Tipton, Reds miss the playoffs this year, but make a championship run next year. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this one. You got anything? I think any team can make a championship run. We saw it most recently. I mean, the Phillies last year made a championship run. Yeah. They made it to the World Series. The Nationals won one, barely sneaking in. If you can make the playoffs, even though I had a counter argument to the Yankees, my favorite team, a moments ago, if you can make the playoffs, a team can get hot at the right time. Yeah. Unfortunately, I just don't buy some teams getting hot if you're built, you know, entirely on three or four players' backs. I also don't think the Reds are going to miss the playoffs this year. I think they're going to make it. I still, I know they've been playing poor baseball recently, been a little bit cold, but they're very talented. I just don't see them missing the playoffs this year. I also don't see them making a championship run next year, but that's also because they just need a little bit more help, but they also have good pitching. I sell this one, but for like kind of different reasons. I don't know. Who do they have pitching that you like? They have Andrew Hunter Abbott, Green. Hunter Green, and Lodolo's a question mark. Yeah. We don't really know about him, to be honest. Like, I don't know. They could get hot, but it's I just... I don't buy the pitching. I think pitching wins in the playoffs. I don't think they have it. Okay. Sam Matkins, Corey Seager is the best hitter in the league and would have made a real case for MVP if he hadn't been injured for so many games this year. Thousand percent buy. Obviously, you have the like Otani clause where as long as he plays and is healthy, he's going to win the MVP every year, it seems like pretty much. But yeah, I mean, Corey Seager was having or is having a phenomenal season. He's like an 1100 OPS through 70 games with like 70 RBIs. The exit velos are out of control. He's actually playing good defense at shortstop. He's one of the 10 best players in the league. You know what's crazy is peek behind the curtain right now for you guys. We had one popped up that we decided not to do. When I say we, the boss, right? Corey Seager's the top three hitter in the league. Mark's like, nah, it's too much of a hot take. We get Corey Seager's the best hitter in the league. Mark's like, yes, dude, he absolutely. <laughs> Top three is too crazy, but number one is not unreal. That's actually true. That's that's fair. <laughs> I, I think when I read it, I read it as like one of the best hitters in the league. Nice. So, read comprehension skills. So, you, what, what do you buy or sell? I, what's the question? Do you, <laughs> is he the best hitter in the league? No, he's not. He's so good, though, but 
you. But, you know, it's tough to say the best. Got to put it together for a full season. Can't stay healthy. Luke, the Diamondbacks continue to struggle and miss the playoffs, but make an all-in push for 2024 during free agency. You guys like doing these two-parters. You can't just give me one. You got to sneak in a second take with it. I'm going to just talk about the Diamondbacks and the playoff chances. I think they're going to miss it. I think they're going to miss the playoffs right now. They're not playing good baseball. It's pretty much Zach Allen and I guess Merrill Kelly carrying the pitching staff. And the offense has kind of gone cold outside of the good players. And they don't have that many great ones right now. So yeah, I, th I think they missed the playoffs. I buy. Absolutely. Dodgers are going to win the division. Yep. So that they have to get a wild card spot. It's still in the back of my mind, foolishly, I'm letting the Padres kind of trap me into believing they have too much talent to be so bad. They're close. And, and the Giants just continue to get it done somehow. I've never seen them score more than about two runs in a game. <laughs> they are, what, close to 60 wins? Yeah. Unbelievable. So uh, I'm going to sell it. And I also, uh, second part of it, I don't think they do make an all-in push in free agency. I don't think so. It's Major League Baseball. Some teams simply will not do it. The Diamondbacks, when have we ever really seen them spend huge money on a class? You might get a guy. Yeah. But no, they couldn't, you couldn't even keep Patrick Corbin. <laughs> That's a good point. Know. Crazy Eyes P. Orioles have gassed their bullpen and they will falter in the playoffs. Their starting pitching might also regress. So a couple things here with this one. I don't think it's ever really a hot take to be like, hey, this, this team's not going to win at all. Like that's it's pretty understandable. Like sometimes you just lose baseball games. But their bullpen, grabbing Shintaro Fujinami has been crazy for them, which sounds nuts. But he's throwing 103 and he's looked absolutely dominant. Their bullpen's really, really good. Felix Bautista, Yanir Cano, and Shintaro Fujinami along with like Sionel Perez. Really good arms. I think their bullpen's not the problem. Where you do get me though is the starting pitching. The starting pitching is legitimately scary. Not good enough to win a playoff series outside of maybe like a couple games here and there. It's going to be tough for them to go on the pitching back. I think they have used Felix Bautista so much, but at the same time, he is a mountain of a man and I'm, I'm not sure that he's going to gas out the same way that we see, you know, much smaller guys do. I will say though, I kind of am a little bit more bullish on the Orioles rotation because of what we've seen lately from Grayson Rodriguez. At the same time, it's tough to say, oh, they might do this. They might do that. I don't know. I will say Fujinami, the stuff has never been the issue. It's been yep. the control. There's going to be an inning in the playoffs where he cannot find the strike Probably. zone and it could be a make or break game for the Orioles. So Probably. We'll see. Field season. This is a simple one. The Cubs will win their division. To me, that's a sell. I don't think the Cubs will. I just don't think that team is good enough. Now, Cody Belger's been playing great. Dansby Swanson, aka James Swanson, has been playing well. Morell, like they have some good players, but I do not believe in that pitching staff whatsoever. I know Justin Seal's been great. I'm not going to doubt him, but I doubt the rest of those guys in that rotation. And Stroman had looked really bad before he hit the IL, and that was concerning. So for me, this is a sell. They're just not better than the Brewers or Reds, in my opinion. I'll play devil's advocate. I think the Reds are very hot and cold, and they're going to be a team that strikes out a lot, which if you go through a stretch of doing it as a team, you're just not going to win games. Yeah. The Brewers, I like, especially getting Brandon Woodruff back. And the Cubs, as much as, you know, we've seen some ups and downs from their pitchers, especially Stroman lately, they're not built necessarily with only the arms. Yeah. Their defense is some of the best in the entire Definitely. league, and especially when you have Steele and Stroman at his best, and Kyle Hendricks, these guys that force weak contact and get ground balls. The defense behind them can make those guys look a lot better than maybe they would be in another sure. situation. I could easily see the Cubs making a run. We've already seen them go on big win streaks this season. Been hot. Yeah. I'm just worried that they might have peaked too early, which is like, oh, that's a, that's a real thing. Peaking early. Mets did it last year. All right, this one's from Barrett Clapprude. The Mets will go on a crazy win streak and make a wild card and take it to the World Series and beat the O's in five games. You're really, really wishing for a lot. Uh, uh, maybe you'll take this one here. Uh, what do you think? No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're talking to probably the, one of the bigger Mets fans, and that's just a hard sell. This team is playing very uninspired baseball right now. They don't look great. The Royals just sweep them? The Royals and the Orioles back-to-back -back sweeps. Orioles are good, but Royal sweep is bad. It's not good. Not a lot of pitching. They don't have the pitching, even if they were somehow to make the playoffs. Tyler McGill and David Peterson are going to be starting two of your five games in a series, and that is absolutely terrifying. So, yeah, big old sell, which I feel like you just baited me into somehow picking yours for this because you knew I was going to answer it. Ryder says, the Houston Astros will win the AL West after sweeping the Rangers in September. Oh, I don't know what I think about this one. God, I don't like doubting the Astros, but boy, the Rangers feel really, really good. That team is loaded, and especially Corey Seager healthy. If Jonah Himes back in September, which would be big for that team, the rotation, if Evaldi could come back, I know there's a lot of ifs, but even then, I still feel like they're kind of even. I'm going to sell this one. I, I think this is the Rangers division to lose, and I don't think they're going to. Yeah, I hate the Astros. I'll play devil's advocate, though. I'll buy it. The Astros just probably have the second best team in the league all around. Yeah, probably. And I like their pitching a lot more than I like the Rangers. I think that probably proves to be a, a team that's going to have more sustained success. We know the Astros can hit. That's absolutely not the question. You got Jordan, Kyle Tucker, Jose Altuve in the same lineup, and good depth really throughout. Uh, even they have an automatic out in Martin Maldonado. Yeah. Yankee killer, by the way. Every of time course. I see him, the guy's unbelievable. But yeah. 
yeah, the Astros just find a way. If it comes down to it, and I could see it coming down to it, especially with the Rangers bats cooling off, you know, some of these guys that have been hot the entire year and young with the broken hand, that yep. could be a big factor. I just think the Astros are so good that, yeah, they're a really, really, really talented team and you just don't bet against that a lot. Last one from the Liver King. The Angels will forever regret not trading Otani at the trade deadline. Yamonski might have uh, been burner. on his burner here, but oh, that feels like it's really close by. What do you think? I think you don't want to be the guy that traded Babe Ruth. That's that, for sure what Artie Moreno did not want to be. That, we, we talk about that today. It's 2023. It happened over 100 years ago. <laughs> the Yankees won the World Series in 1923. And then we all we've talked about for the last 100 years has been the curse of the Bambino and how do you sell Babe Ruth for $250,000. Different at the time, right? But yeah, you're not going to regret not trading Otani. Yeah. He's a once in a ever, once in a sport player, literally. I can't even say generational. So yeah, I, I think there's a chance you re-sign him too. I was going to bring that up. I was like, I think Angels fans might regret it and that's only if he leaves but I think there's a very good chance that Otani stays with the Angels resigns with them I know they're he's trying to win and they're really not winning or competing well they are competing but not winning but like leaving Trout you have a good core of guys that you can build around if there's competency there and at least at this trade deadline they made the conscious decision we're not selling and I thought the guys that they brought in made their team better have they played well since then absolutely not but I don't think they regret it and like you said Artie Moreno just didn't want to be the guy to trade Otani Angels fans might be upset but only if he leaves. And, and what's the likelihood of re-signing him? If he goes to the Dodgers, I think it's a lot less. Cause yeah. Pretty much same area. No, not the same exact city within Los Angeles. But if you train with the Dodgers and he wins a World Series not with the Dodgers, back. you can say goodbye. And I feel like it's hard to trade to like the Dodgers, who would be one of the teams that has the best package back, and then see him win. In when the it's, same 25-minute yeah. radius. Competing for relatively the same fans, even though we know they're not really like the same area. But yeah, I'm going to sell that one. All right, so that was it for buy or sell. Let us know what you guys agree with down in the comments section below as well as drop your hot takes that way for the next one i might actually use the youtube comment section for once remember to check out the description for bengal's channel link down there subscribe madden guy new madden coming out go subscribe over there if you like what you see over here drop a like subscribe to my channel follow me on my social media at giraffe nick mark links are in description that's where i'll wrap it up you know the drill from here on out you'll look over bengal's face that'll be my most recent video it might even have him in it and if you click over my face youtube's like hey you're gonna like that video i recommend it click through those if you have not yet seen them thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow for another video Bye.